Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's Monday night on the Sam Livecast. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? How was the fantastic, weekend? Fantastic, fantastic. You had a good weekend, everybody? Yeah, yeah. I Maxie? We're all good. How is everybody doing? I had a great weekend, Kel. Sunshine on Saturday. What could be better? Look outside right now. Not I today. love this. I ran into Chris Itner today at Vaughn's. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he goes, what about this weather? And I go, I know. Amazing, huh? <laughs> look at it. Look at it. It's, it's white. I, lo- this is, I live for this shit. Yeah, you do. No, Seriously. I like the sunshine. No. Ugh. We I, love I'm, the rain, don't we, Dad? I'm down. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We love yeah, the yes, rain. I'm totally down. It's not even raining today. It's like misting. Mm-hmm. But there is moisture. Mist is good. Though, I talked to my moisture. mom. I talked to uh, my mom, your grandma, Max, in mm-hmm. Vancouver this morning. Mm-hmm. She said it was, it was fucking dumping. Really? She might not have said fucking. And she just went from Palm <laughs> Springs. She might have said pouring. Grandma wasn't dropping f bombs. No. No. <laughs> Sometimes. Every so often, Grandma will drop the occasional f bomb. Yeah. But it's got to be really well placed, and and she has to really mean it. <laughs> you know. Um. This chair's messed. There's something wrong with my chair. Oh, here's it's, the deal. Uh, no, I, I don't see. say it. Don't say it. I already know. We it's, all know. No, that not that. No, I think it's that. <laughs> no, I know. I can see, uh, Dad. Look at where the things are. The shoulder, the armrest. That one of them's higher than the other. <laughs> no, no, it's something else too. No, no, it's beyond. Oh, I see. Okay, one of them. Those are really uneven. That's. Uh, oh, no, well, it's not why that. Are you it's not that. The bad because chair? the chair feels like it's just it. I believe this is that chair. I I think you're <laughs> right now. So why are you sitting in it? Why didn't you change? I, it I, I don't know. I, I, How I, about I, this? Nanette says that Sam is the. Best part of Monday. Oh, oh God, I love that's her. a nice. good compliment. Thanks, Nanette. I love her. Mm. Uh, so I got a lot of. I feel like I have a lot of things to talk about tonight. Let's just dive right in. <laughs> just go in. Yeah. That's what she said. We were having a conversation. <laughs> just oh, so dive right in. That's what she said. <laughs> Forget it. Just Can go. you ever hear Sorry. a woman say, "Just dive right in"? <laughs> I like how you you just crack we yourself were, up, Kelly. <laughs> I know that's the best part of the whole thing. <laughs> I've got this. So I was, I, was, I was shopping at uh, the store the other day, and I was in the soup aisle for a reason, and I was walking along, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this. Well, hold on. Yeah, Steve, I'm not going to. I'm going to show it yet. It's going to show right here. Uh, walking along, scanning the soups, the many soups, and clearly you can see this is a Campbell soup, right? Mm-hmm. The distinctive red and white can. And something caught my eye, and I like a like a dog with one of those collars that is senses the force, and that you know he's got to stop. I stopped and I looked, <laughs> and it was a blast from the past. I want to know in this room, not counting me. There's one, two, three, four of you. How many have you have had this? Ready? Mm-hmm. Boom. Ooh. Yes, Campbell's bean with bacon soup. No, I have had that. I know, that I never have, amazing. but I want it. What? The staple is my childhood. I actually have. S- Kelly, I- Kelly, I know is a no. No, Max, uh, that, you haven't. I've, I've never made that for you. No, that's really surprising that I've never had it. And I actually, so since I was sick last week, I was at the store buying soup a lot. I found myself because it's all I could really eat. Well, I'll tell you what, baby giant, I'm gonna make this for you right now, mm-hmm. so you can try it. This is. Well, there's bacon? natural flavor, <laughs> natural smoke and flavor added. I'm sure it's not good for you. So is it like a can of beans with bacon? Well, here's what it looks like when you open the lid. It's delicious. And by the way, thank you, Campbell's, for doing this. The yeah. pop top. Jeez, right? It's about time. How intelligent is that? Steve. Steve? <laughs> what? Oh, Camera. show it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. How intelligent is that? <laughs> Like, why do we need to... No, why do you need to deal with it that? Is, uh, I'm sure it's a little bit more... It's a li- it has to be a little more expensive for the manufacturer. Yes, but you're right. They but probably really? pass the cost on down. Because, like, think about this. It's 1230 at night. You've come home from a party that was supposed to have food. <laughs> and they had food, but it sucked. We've all been to those, right? <laughs> yes. It's one of your you keep going shows. like this. You keep going like this to your, to your friends. When are they bringing out the good stuff? When is something coming out that, you know, they've got those bad, like, cream cheese, shitty pinwheel things that they bought. They didn't even make them and put any love or tenderness in them. They just bought them from the supermarket. They bought one of those things of pre-cooked 
pink little ugly shrimps and a weak ass dipping cocktail sauce that's really more like fucking ketchup. Yeah. And you're starving. And you're, you're drinking cocktail. They have the party at 7 o'clock. And if they think... It's interesting. If you think having a party at 7 o'clock excludes you from having to have real food and you can just put out a couple of crappy little appies, it doesn't cut it. you got to start a party at 10 not to have to be responsible to for having food. food. Am I right? <laughs> yes. That's a good rule. Anywhere yeah. from 5 o'clock to 9, nine o'clock, people are going to go... Where's oh well this no 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 honey we don't have to eat. don't worry they're gonna have this food. is actually yeah. really interesting uh a d topic to discuss what are the proper what's the proper etiquette for hosting parties and delivering food to your guests i, I like think that. it's i think five to nine that's, that's you want to cheap little. out and not have food i shouldn't say cheap out you want to not do the food thing that's okay but if i go to somebody's house at eight o'clock for a birthday party an engagement party mm -hmm. a, whatever it is, and if it, any of that stuff, I assume there's going to be food yep. because I would do food. No question about it. Good point. So what's the hour? I, 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 that's, that's nine o'clock. My dad said, nine. my dad said, nine, yeah. my now, my now recently departed father mm -hmm. two weeks ago today. Oh. I can say that. Mm -hmm. um, he used to say, don't ever answer the phone without a pen <laughs> in case you have to write something down Absolutely. in case somebody goes like this you answer the phone ring 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 hello i'm dying here's my last will and testament <laughs> quick take it down write this down, <laughs> write this down right. wait 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 gotta find a pen here's the combination here's where the gold is buried i don't know what he was thinking i guess maybe he was a big thinker a big a big dreamer perhaps don't ever come to the Really, don't ever. Here's my dad's rules. He don't didn't ever, say it that nicely. No, he didn't. My dad <laughs> had a hard side. Don't the phone without a pen. <laughs> don't come to the phone without a pen. Uh, don't call anyone after 10 o'clock at night. Huh. That's probably a good. Wait, that's another one we need to discuss. Right, we what have to talk about that too. We'll right. save it. Sorry. You call someone, right? Um, a man needs one black or dark blue suit. Yeah. For serious shit. Yeah. You can wear you can wear a navy or a black suit to a wedding, yeah. to a christening, funeral, to a funeral, to whatever. Yeah. But if you have a beige suit, no. No. Don't guys, <coughs> summer's coming. The weather's nice. If you're thinking about buying your first suit or you got nothing, you've not had to have a suit, you go to buy one suit, don't make it. Don't go light gray. Don't go beige. Don't do the pinstripes. Don't know. No. Nothing with white with pinstripes. Don't do that <laughs> shit. Don't reinvent the wheel. You can never, a, a classic black or navy suit will last you your entire life unless you get super fat. And suits with shorts don't count. No. Right? No, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. All right. So, so we were talking about time, right? Mm -hmm. Five to nine? Oh, I thought we were well, what do people party. think? I mean, I'm curious to know what was, people think. I was going to post on your Facebook. I think if you're invited to a party, yeah. anywhere in between post-lunch and pre-dinner, mm -hmm. then there's got to at least be desserts, right? There's got to be There's got to be something. Right. But if it hits Don't, lunchtime or dinner time, it's got to be... You got to go full dinner, out, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. But so when does the dinner time... Or, or a late, or a party, like you said. When, when does the dinner nine, time food I think end? Ten, when does, when does the responsibility... For providing dinner time kind of food and I think if it's a weekend night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's gotta be up until ten. At least. Yeah, at least. Yes. And by the way, if you're if you're doing something crazy and you're telling people to come over at eleven, mm -hmm. you have to assume that they've already been out someplace. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they've been drinking. Sure. Probably. Or or whatever. Mm -hmm. Had dinner. They're gonna need food. Oh. If they've had oh. dinner at six or seven or eight, yeah. it's now eleven. And now they're drinking again. They're going to want a little nosh. They're going to want something. Sure. Oh, so you got to have something. something. You got to have some yep. snacks, right? I think it's safe to assume that and you just have some sort of food at every get together, right? Yeah. And <laughs> chips don't count, right? So you go, but chips you got to have count. something in the fridge or freezer that you can bring out at any moment, mm -hmm. but that you can heat up because cold stuff. We 
But not that shrimp cocktail thing. Just not no, that. not that <laughs> shitty not little. That so shrimp go- shrimp the go-to ketchup. recipe. Yeah. The go- we've got the good go-to. The pesto pizza would be because you pesto can have pizza would be great. In the freezer. Half, half of his recipes, though. Right? Yeah. That's cool. Oh yeah. Saturday night, what did that we make? We made the we made the oh, feta, the feta with the oregano, the oh, garlic, yeah. and the red pepper and flakes how, and the olive oil. How freaking easy is that? Jeez. I ate for sure three quarters of that. And it is so delicious. Yeah. We did that on the live cast one night, and oh, here's the thing. There it is, right? Did. So you take a you take a block same live of feta. Cast. Com. The samlivecast.com. You take amazing. a piece of feta, you put it in a little pan that can go in the oven. I use little one of my little uh, cast iron pans, and we're gonna talk talk about cast iron pans for a newbie, right, Kel? Mm-hmm. Somebody one night. Um, you put a, you squeeze a big fat clove of garlic on top, mm-hmm. sprinkle oregano, some red pepper flakes, mm-hmm. and drizzle it well with olive oil. And then it goes into like a 350 oven for I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really quick. But so I had it ready to go. And they were coming at seven, Marie and Tom. And at five to seven, I was going to put it in the oven. I put it in at five to seven, thinking they'll get here at seven. It'll be ready at seven ten ish. And we also had ceviche. Have mm. we made the ceviche? Mm. Not on the show. No, no. no the we show. should do that. We've all, we also had ceviche. So they walk in, they get a cocktail, and they have... They had ceviche ready for them. By the way, if you have people coming over, you, you don't know where they are with their food intake for the day. And if you throw a fat cocktail into somebody's hand at <laughs> 6 o'clock, 6.30 or 7 o'clock, and they have not eaten that day because maybe their day was crazy, it'll, 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 it'll F them up. Yeah. And I don't want that to happen. So you need to follow with food. One Have you, some kind of food ready. One of your cocktails on an empty stomach oh, is no. not a good thing. Uh, no, <laughs> one of your margaritas. margaritas? Here's Jeez. what I say. We say one good cocktail is better than two weak-ass yeah. shitty ones. So they were coming at 7. The ceviche was ready to go. But the feta thing I wanted to follow maybe 10 minutes after. Mm-hmm. So I was going to put it in at 5 to 7. So 5 to 7, I take it. I put it in the oven that's already heated. I shut it. And then I go, uh-oh, well, I'll just wait a couple of minutes. I took it back out again. Uh. <laughs> One minute after that, I got a text from Maria that said, we're running 12 minutes late. And 12 minutes late would have meant 12 after 7. The stuff would have come out right then. We probably would have gotten, gotten we wouldn't have gotten to it. when I want to I wanna get to that feta when it, it is freaking hot. Yeah. That's what I want. So what'd you do? Because it's amazing then. So I put it in when they showed up. Mm. Did so, they really say 12 minutes? That's just an odd yeah, she time. said 12 yeah, minutes late. I thought yeah. so too. They We're said 12 minutes. That's minute. a very exact time. <laughs> well, you have GPSs nowadays. So that's, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, but you got to have food. Have food for people and don't make it crappy food. And cheese and crackers, yes, I suppose it could be that. But I think we can all be better than that. The brie and is cheese and crackers. Just the feta. no, no, the feta. Sorry, not feta. No, no, no. But I, crackers, no, I mean, not, I, I know what you mean. You can do cheese and crackers. I, I mean, but the right way. Something yeah. hot. Mm-hmm. 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 Like we, we were at the Best of San Diego magazine North County party on Saturday. What night was that, Kelly? Friday. Friday, Friday. night. And they, there was a few people that had cold stuff, and the cold stuff was delicious mm-hmm. and a nice change. But I'm telling you, at 8 o'clock at night, when I've had a cocktail or two or a glass of wine or some beer, uh, I don't want something cold. Right. Mm-hmm. I want something savory, something warm, you know? Yeah. Anyway, well, how did we get here? I don't know, but hey, well, can you Well, you're talking about late night. Oh, this. When you get can you home, check on that can? Right, right. Good. Check yeah. on what? Check on that can and see what the tab says. Yeah. Scott says Pop it open. he makes containers for food. And if it has an A, B, C, D, E, or F on it, it came from Iowa. I guess he does these. Oh, things. that's he, cool, huh? He makes those lids. How so many that's times? Like, uh, that's what like are, money. When what are the chances? Well, can you go to this close? Can you go to this close? Well, tell me what I'm looking at because. Let me see. Right here it says A, B. Look right here, Steve, where my finger is. Focus right in there. It's a little hard oh, to see, but. Right. Oh, I see A, B. It looks like A B I S. No, I think that's no, just that's uh, look. If you popped it, yeah, exactly. And what are the chances that Scott would it's be watching a 
podcast that would be talking about the lids oh, that he right makes. Oh, it's, it's right there. It's crazy. It says G or C. Where? See it right there on the, on the tab. On the tab, yeah. Is no, that what he's talking not, about? Yeah, he's Wait, talking about the tab, not the, right not the can, the tab. Can you point at it, Sam? Oh, on C. the tab, on the popper thing. That's yeah, I see the C. So what does that mean? It's that means it's in, in Iowa. Iowa. And that's that's where Scott's at. That means it's so made where? Iowa. Iowa. It's, if Shut like the, the fuck state? up. Yeah, he's what? Yeah. If it has an A, B, C, D, or F, it came from Iowa, and that's what that's Scott's what I'm saying. It's like money. Like when you look at a dollar bill. Why do they need to denote who makes what tabs? I don't know. So he made this part? Yeah, that's... Says, or the whole lid. Maybe there's the like lid. the lid. He makes lids. I'm guessing there's some sort of standardized lid <laughs> bottle. Like maybe we just for ask the whole country. By the way, that's pretty interesting. We you meet somebody thing. at a party. Hey, dude, what do you do? I make uh, I make uh, lids. <laughs> lids? Who knows what a lid is in the not politically correct sense? Yeah. Not you. Shh. Uh, Steve, do you know what a lid is? A hat. Max, do you know what a lid uh, is? A hat. No. In lid, the not PC um, way. Does anybody know? I don't know. Do I, know I want to know? It's something sexual, right? Is my, no, it's oh, not sexual. No, it's not. No, isn't that funny? Know. Okay. Really, I thought that if anybody I'm not would saying know, this. Steve would know. Okay. Camera on me right here. Mm -hmm. Don't tell. What, why? Why? Let's tell. just why? wait and see what people say, because I guarantee you there's going to be a few that are going to Somebody say. will know. Okay, who knows what a lid is? I don't. In the non -PC Okay. Term. You guys don't know? Oh, look at Becky. I knew it right was going to be Becky. She goes, ha, 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 ha. They don't know what a lid is. That's uh -huh. funny. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Here's what it is. Look at me. A lid was a measurement of marijuana in a what? in a, a, here, man. a Ziploc bag back in the day. Really? Uh, like a full? So it was like Why would I know that? It was like this much in one <laughs> of these you're I don't know what here. You're a little bit closer to age. Are you going to do a break now? <laughs> Yeah, I can do this. Hold on. <laughs> Here, I can do this. I don't know why. Just to bet. Oh, I don't know if I have enough green of anything in here. Here, I'll use this. Herbs de Provence, which I never use and somebody gave me. Oh, yeah, I never use that either. <laughs> That's a lid. There you go. <laughs> That's a lid? A lid of oregano. The things, you, the no. things that you learn. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a lid of Herbs de Provence. <laughs> that's basically what a lid was and i don't really i can't remember and not because i burned out my memory cells <laughs> yeah. i just can't remember what the weight measurement equivalent of a lid was We've okay got this. now you can move on you're standing there holding a bag of whatever here's the picture look good. the sam live cast are Sean you watching it, no Sean are calls it Sean calls it live cast 420 episode. <laughs> it's 420 somewhere. Yo, oh, dude. So should, should I make this? It's right now. Should oh, I make this? Do you want me to make this? This. Yes. yes. Who wants to taste this? You don't yeah. buy All right, story. so, huh? Uh, one of the reasons that I love things like that so much are those baked beans that you made over the. When did you make those, Dad? Over the weekend? Uh, I made those for Marie and Tom on Saturday. We night. haven't done that on the live cast, have we? No, we could Make do that. That would be good. Let's do this. Oh, those yeah. are really um, good. So, so anyway, okay, I love um, English breakfast beans on toast. Because oh, love oh, one of my best yeah. friends and roommates for a long time, all well, through college, was British. You're, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know so where I learned I that? Was, I'm very accustomed to big English breakfasts and beans on toast. I love That's, beans on toast. Oh, it's so easy and classic and just such a great breakfast wait a sec I hate heat beans. covered in microwave of course, on high. of course you do mom <laughs> wait a sec you don't uh, condense you don't add any water to this no. anymore no, just... no. no wow. let's add you water to soup you just know it's been I've never so added long water since water I've to a can I can't believe you used to you do used that to? Max. you used to, yeah, used to. add a can oh. Are you telling me I that Campbell's one, Campbell's like... tomato soup you don't add water no, to they have, they have the condensed variety I never have. But this is condensed. It is condensed. But, oh, this it says is? condensed. Then you should. But it. there's nothing. Here's the directions. Oh, mix soup with one can of water. All right, here I go. <laughs> oh, that could have been a very I'm gonna make, I'm gonna strong soup. Right You're good, Steve. He's just going to throw that in a pot. So, Sam, by the way, Scott gave us the exact city where that lid came from. No way. How was that possible? It, it came from Fort Dodge, I'm Iowa. I'm telling you, Dad, it's because sea. there's a, some sort of standardized system for Wait, distribution so he of He also cans. said it's it's to track in case they get a right. bad lid. They know where it came from. A bad product. Oh, Wait, how about that? Wait, okay, can I just say that, oh, it smells 
so exactly what I remember. <laughs> no, no, you gotta no, you gotta show this. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> really? yeah. he was like a no, you can smell no, bad just boy. Like, no, you're a bad boy. Uh, no, no. You gotta show what's this. His name? <laughs> there you go. It smells good, but here, look at this. Okay, go back into your work. Oh, there you go. Okay, it doesn't No, it doesn't look as appealing as No, no, no. Oh no. It doesn't look as appealing. Well, no it Campbell's doesn't look appealing at all. No, no. Campbell soup looks. Appealing. It looks effing disgusting. Looks good. That I'm just telling you like though. Alpha. If you haven't made Campbell soup, it doesn't look that disgusting. <laughs> no, Max. <laughs> why do you have to turn it into a slogan? We just lost that potential. Uh, oh man. <laughs> sponsor. Whoa. Look at that. Oh jeez. Ew. <laughs> That's why I don't like beans. <laughs> Okay, just make it. Oh shit! That looks like uh, I wasn't looking. The Doritos, that right. which I still have that bag. Oh, gross. Do you really still have that? Yeah, it's right here. We do not. What? Why not keep it? Oh, I didn't know we did. There oh it is. God, people. Here's really the deal. Does. I think the value of it is greater to me than it is to turning it into them. Mm -hmm. I love the idea that. So what's the one, maybe is it a carrot? The one crazy ass orange thing. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? Is it just one? No, there's one more piece in here. Maybe there's a couple, but I gotta look. So we're doing, we're totally doing those baked beans one time what soon on the live cast. We're doing what? Oh, we're baked doing those beans. baked beans. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Don't get too consumed in the condensed baked bean soup. <laughs> Campbell, is that you're heating up? Come on, man. That's it's, why he's saying it's amazing. Oh, one guy. can. Right. Sam the can soup guy tonight. So I knew Blake was going to Well, has anyone dude. on the live oh. cast had this? Yes. Anyone responded? People Everybody responded? said it's their favorite soup. They had it growing up. They oh, had really? It all and you've never had it? The bean, not the bean oh, bacon, no. no. I've had Lynn bacon is, and bean. Wait. Lynn, Lynn has had it. Max hasn't. Steve hasn't. No. I you guys are, on seriously, you're in for a treat. A I think you're in for a treat. And you know what it needs? It needs to toast. Oh, toast. You're just, you were just craving toast. Don't I thought, take my I toast. thought you were gonna say a bowl. <laughs> a bowl. A bowl of soup? Oh, just a bowl to pour it in. Oh. Oh. Really, really and by the way, I'm making sourdough. I thought you were talking about a bowl of weed, see? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I think Blake is on the same page too. <laughs> What's that? Steve, Steve, bro. Steve, bro. <laughs> That's so dang. <laughs> It's it all screwed up, man. That's screwed <laughs> up. That's a really good picture hey, of you, Hey, just man. By, the, by the way, this isn't um, what we're cooking on tonight on the live cast. This no, is this is not impromptu. it. <laughs> by the way, what we're if you thought that the... Can I show this? Yeah. You if you thought that the beans, the bean with oh, bacon soup boy. in the can was bad, well, look at how it looks there in it's water. Gotta, it's got to do oh, its thing. Oh, snap. That's bad. You're right, Steve. It's got to... Melt and do its thing. I'm sure Wait, it's gonna taste. Terry delicious. says that's yeah. the bacon, the carrot thing that you showed. I think if Max was oh. still sick, no, he that is not me. bacon. Yeah, don't no? even Steve. This is the point he would have walked out again. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Uh, here's a, one of those <laughs> orange things. You're gonna try it. Oh. Cold out of a can. Gross. It's good. I'm sure it tastes the same. That was not bacon. No. <laughs> that was not. Was it carrot? I don't know. Here. It is a Who said that, right? Terry? Terry Bannister. Terry Bannister's been with this tonight. <laughs> if she thinks that that was bacon, she said it with a certainty. Okay, so here's what we do. We just do this. Steve, do you wanna? Or yeah, should I hop over there, Sam? No, no, no. You don't. There's no, no, no. This is nothing. This is nothing. You were just. Well, I just didn't think you were gonna be over there. I know. You were just going like this. All right. So then you go like this, <laughs> and you. Then you spin. And he was by the way, I'm not the only one. Valerie just writes that is the nastiest thing I have seen in a while, and this is coming from a mother of a two-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> she is my soul sister. That is so funny. So just to remind people, well, I've got this out. Uh. Kelly opened a bag of Doritos Cool Ranch chips four months ago, mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. Gross. and reached in, and while there was these in the bag, here was the thing that really shocked her. Oh man, the rest and of the chips And Doritos has in. never responded, oh. <laughs> which I find very crazy. I oh. still don't know what this is. Oh. We believe, like we okay. believe that it's a... 
Yeah. Clump that got extra deep fried. I mean, I know it's definitely way, not some weed that we had hidden in that bag and <laughs> hidden in the closet. Disgusting. I feel like I put too much water in this soup. I want it thicker now. Oh, you know what? That's uh-huh. what somebody said. These she has what? it all the time, but she doesn't add... Uh, Joanne, I have this soup all the time, but I only use a half a can because it gets too watery. I, how that, long was after, been, that was after you poured it in. It's been too long since I've made this. Damn it. <laughs> Are you just straining out water? I'm straining out water. You're losing flavor. Up. I'm not losing flavor. Shut up. I'm going to be okay. Can I start cooking what I was going to cook while I'm over here? Just get it going. Well. Should we Let's, just run the in? Yeah, why not? Well, how about we run the thing when we when we eat it? How about you just, can you just come sit down and talk about one of our sponsors for a second? Give Steve a chance to pop the camera off and then yes. we can cook. Okay. Okay, hold on. What is well, your Well, we're certainly man. not we're not brought to you tonight by whatever's in this glass cuz it's empty. Do you remember that you're hosting a show tonight? <laughs> Can I tell you something? You have no idea how many things I have to talk about and we have not talked about one of because them because you, you spent 10 <laughs> minutes on. Yes, you've been doing the baked beans, beans this whole hey, time. Hey, yeah. you know what? We have 3 shows a week. That's true. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, wait, is anybody bored? Yeah. Are you okay, bored? You, no, me, it's, talk about it's all been interesting. Am I we right? Can talk about whatever we want, man. You it's all like been it. good, right? Yeah. It's all been good, like Donovan Steak and Chop House. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. why it makes the big box. That's box-ups. a smooth operator. Mother's right Day's coming up. In fact, Father's Day is coming up. Yes, it is. What are you doing for Father's Day? I it's not what, what I'm you, doing. What are you it's doing what for him for you're Father's doing Day. <laughs> for Father's exactly. Day. Dad, what are we doing for you for Father's Day? I don't know what you're and doing. And Mother's Day is first. Forget oh, that. Do you really have something Ooh, planned I yet? About that. No, I don't have anything planned. <laughs> the three. I got to do Mother's Day first. The three of you don't come together and plan these things. Um, They're weak. Yeah. No. Of course we we do. We try very hard to do they that. Do. Yes, mm. they do. They work very hard. You spend weeks and weeks. Oh on. yeah. They don't spend anything. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> it's the night before. Hey, what are you gonna do for Sam? What are you doing for Dad? Oh well, he's got a lot more years left. We'll give it to him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I thought. To my father died two weeks ago. Oh, oh wow. Damn. There you oh, go. Gosh. Now, how do you feel? Hey, I'll make it I'm all better by taking you to. Donovan. Uh, Donovan's. That's that's where I'd like to go. I'd like to have that little fillet off to the right. I mean, it's. I'd so like good. to be pampered. I'd like to have the best. Can, you know what? Every night, every live cast night, we talk about the food at Donovan's. Mm-hmm. Something that we don't talk about that often, mm-hmm. or the staff at Donovan's. That's true. I think I might have cracked this a little bit one night, but I feel like in San Diego we don't have professional servers, professional waiters, like they do in other cities. Until you go to a place like Donovan's and they know how to take care of you. And it's the right amount of care. It's not over. It's not, hi, my name is Alan. I'm going to be your waiter tonight. Let me help you. I'm going to sing birthday songs to you. And I'm going to, I'm going to come every 16 seconds and annoy the fuck out of you. They don't do that. They're there. They know what you want. They know what you don't want. And somehow, just in their minds. And they take beautiful care of you. The kind of care that you want. When you want to know that they know what you want, but they don't want you don't want to be bugged. That's what it is. It's that simple. Donovan's Steak and Chop House, Donovan's Prime Seafood in the Gas Lamp. Just go. Here, here's there should be their slogan. Donovan's, just freaking go there. <laughs> That's a good slogan. I like it. Thank you very much. I have I hear bean it. with bacon soup burning. Let's start cooking. Start cooking. Okay, I gotta say, it's just something lacking in this from my youth. It's thick enough, now that I've taken out some of the water. By the way, there should be like a range. Add a half a can to a can. I can't imagine this soup being any uh, more watery than this. Am I right, Steve? Okay, now that I smell it, I have had it before. You have? It you don't forget that. You know, okay, I give it lots of fresh ground pepper. My pepper grinder seems to be a bit screwed up tonight. I can't believe you're spending this much time on those beans. I know. No, I just had to get them going. I want the boys to have them the right way. You Max are spending Steve. a lot of time on it. Hey, shut up. Okay, now we're fine. Now we're fine. Now we're fine. I'm going to push them out of the way. 
Now you're not getting any. How do good they smell, <laughs> Max? It's, it's, it's fine. He's only done 25 minutes on the baked beans in a can. So this is uh, Gnocchi Alisarda, The Hoffers. Ooh. I did a show on the Stennis. And um, I got this recipe. Let me get a little knife. I got this recipe from people that were associated with the ship. And they said, we make this. And I did it on a, did it on a viewer recipe show. And this is viewer, live cast viewer recipe week. I said, tell me what you want me to make. And one of the recipes that I was asked to make was this. And I go, well, I've not made that for a very long time. So I've got these um, hot Italian sausages. They come in this little casing like this. But when I use them here, I slice them open and then I just peel off the casing on the outside. And I just drop it in, and it's like ground meat now once it gets in there, right? Yeah. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. So this is very simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something your trash stinks. My trash stinks? Uh -huh. You know what? I had this idea when we built this kitchen. I had the idea of putting a trash receptacle kind of in the middle of the counter. Hold on. Let me do this one. I'll tell you. Brilliant. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It is. It's not brilliant at all. Oh, it isn't? No, I'll show you why. So here's what I wanted to do. Oh, the I want, hole that I you wanted want. to be a hole in the counter. That's right. No, you right. could just push your garbage into, and then it would go into like a garbage can below. The problem is, trash stinks awful. And the idea that there would be a hole here open to the stinking garbage underneath all the time just pissed me off, and I'm glad I didn't do that. I was referring to the idea that you currently have. Oh, those pull-out ones? Yeah, yeah I got you. We use the no sausage what? for a lot of stuff, huh? Want to cook? Yeah, yeah sorry, Max? I was just saying we use the sausage for a lot of things. Yeah, please don't think that the only way you can deal with these sausages is to buy them and put them whole on a grill or a yeah, barbecue or something. Yeah, exactly. They're not. Uh, you could put oil in here now, but I think there's enough fat and it will start to release. And, you know, it looks like it's sticking a little bit, but it's going to be fine. I don't like to add extra fat if I can help it. Though apparently I have no fucking regard whatsoever for sodium. I've got somebody who's been writing me about... <laughs> Once a week, watches the TV show, mm -hmm. and then says, oh, I watched it again today. Do you realize that this that you made had 280 grams of sodium, and this had 500, and this? Please start letting your viewers know that the food you're making is very unhealthy. Are you serious? Wait, is yes. that from the Discovery Health stuff? No. No, no, it wasn't the Discovery. No way. Just the regular Sam the Cooking Guy. Oh. Mm. So like you can see, this has been in about a minute, and it's about 20% of the way. This really doesn't take very long. Okay, so Addie missed half the show, so she writes, what's going on? Oh, she tuned and in with the bag of weed. No, Valerie writes, gross, she goes, what's going on? Valerie says, gross bean and bacon soup from a can, but better stuff coming up tomorrow. Sandy writes, Sam ran out of recipes. He's opening up soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I'm cooking right That's now. That's not funny. I hate them all. <laughs> And I told her, wait, I just said, we're just talking about lids, no biggie. She writes back, weed lids or hat lids. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> all right, so look, see, this is, look, like you're cooking ground beef, it's all fine. You want to put oil in here, put oil in here. I just really don't think you need to. We're going to add some garlic, and I've got some garlic right here. I like one big garlic clove and I can't really find them so I've got two medium sized ones sorry did you see that go down there it's right there I just whoa, whoa, whoa Haley 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 yeah. Haley <laughs> what the hell I saw her run it's okay look okay. at her this haircut everybody look I know you look sorry Aww. wait Aww. does look like a little puppy Steve watch me throw this one out don't, she'll hurt herself. It spent too much time oh. on the ground. I know.
Okay, uh, two cloves of garlic. Oh, can I read something super cute? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just got an email. I, Sam, met your son Jordan today at Seaside. Hey Sam, I was at Seaside Market today and getting my dinner fixins at the meat counter. Said to the guy helping me, where do I know you from? The guy blushed a bit and paused and then I said, wait, I know you. You're Sam the cooking guy's son, right? He no said, yeah. Way. Yeah, er, and then she said, you made that awesome sandwich. Jordan says, yeah. Oh my God. So I then told another customer that Jordan is Sam the cooking guy's son and she said, really? Wow, what a nice surprise to see Jordan working at my favorite local store. Oh, How that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. By the way, we bought that. I don't know if you've been to Cardiff Seaside Market and bought their burgundy marinated tri-tip. Oh, mm. what do they call it again? They <laughs> call it Cardiff Crack. Oh, man. Mm. Because it's so uh, stupidly addictive. All right, so the garlic is going to go in here. Ooh, I just need to go to Facebook real quick and agree with Erica. She says she loves doing that with chorizo and her eggs. That's like my favorite. Mm. To do what? Take the sausage. Oh, and cook put like it, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Nice. Well, remember what we did the other day? The chorizo gravy that I missed? Chorizo biscuits and gravy? Yeah, that I missed. Yeah, you don't know because you were throwing yeah, up. That right? I missed and that nobody has re replicated for me? Well, quit throwing up and maybe somebody will. Okay, so this you can see this is cooked, right? You turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna add two things here. I'm gonna add a about a cup of cream. This is a pint, there's two cups in here, so roughly half. How do you spell xylis? Uh Z Y L I S S. Ooh. Okay, there's that. Uh oh. Great. I burned this first piece of toast. That's no, not too bad. Nope, it's fine. Because really, it's just for you and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jerk. So that sour sourdough is the best for toast. Sourdough and sourdough for this with this bean with bacon. Come on, and you know here's the problem. The problem is, you guys were all making fun of me for this, so I don't care if anybody has any. <laughs> Lynn's managed to find his way into the room. <laughs> it does look good, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm telling you, you should smell it from here, Max. Okay, here you go, boys. I don't mean to, to make fun. Here you go, watch. Sam, your wallabies have been a hit tonight. Oh, they have? Yeah. Very nice. Yes, why not? Thank you very much. They're, they're original ones, too. I mean, you know, like closed old school. Toed, closed toed shoes. I know, sometimes. <laughs> what a concept. So if any of you guys want this, Max, Lynn, you guys can come in here and have this. I'm, I'm, I'm a little busy back here, but. Okay, tell you what, Lynn will bring. I got one more thing to add to this that I got to get. Hold on, Steve. Try it, Lynn. Yeah, it smells exactly like I remember. Shit, where's this? Mmm. How good is that? Mm -hmm. Kind of salty. Right, and I didn't add salt. It's like a mid show snack. Okay, I'm putting a little eight ounce can of uh, tomato sauce. That's a good point, Kelly. I like the mid show snack. <laughs> of course yeah. you do. I'm, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you do. Because you're a tool. <laughs> Watch, eight ounces of tomato sauce in here with the sausage and the cream. What the hell? I don't like it. You don't? No. Let's see you. Really? Let's see like your it. yucky face. Mm. <laughs> that's, I don't, I love, I'm telling you, I, Dad, you know I love baked beans and that's just not for me. Oh. Okay, bring it back. <laughs> He's a little busy. Look what happened here. Piss me off right here, right here, right here. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Was that a splatter? Oh it's no! One, one, shirt two, three, four, ruined. five, six, the seven. Shirt. It is not, you it's throw not, it away. It's not even like one article of clothing absorbed. We won't yeah. throw it away. We'll cut it into strips and use it as rags for cleaning. Mom Tonight. hates this shirt. 
Why do you? I don't know why you hate this shirt so much. Sam. Really? Oh, how does this? That's so good. It's not bad. Oh, no, not I don't care if the if the bacon smoke flavor in this is fake. You it's hear that? Amazing. It's not bad. Who said it's not bad? <laughs> oh, Steve, no. Becky's waiting for you to feed Steve. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Steve's not having too much of a problem feeding himself. Okay, so you see what's going on here? This has one, two, three, four ingredients. Sausage, garlic, cream, tomato sauce. I'm gonna about to add one more. It will help thicken it a little bit. Wow, that's really good. Sorry, I'm going back. Mm -hmm. uh, you just like are obsessed with these beans. You're forgetting that you're hosting a show and you've spent half the show on the beans. I'm hosting what? Some Parmesan? This is why it's Sam the Cooking Guy's show. And why it's not Max the Complainer in the Back Room show. Because he's going to pull rank tonight. You know what? Here's what it was. It was memories. That was a memory for me. And I eat that and it just brings me back to where I was, I don't know. 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Yeah, it does. It makes you leave what you're doing and go back 30 years. What? We're cooking. It's all fine. Sam, they hate your shirt, by the way. Who hates my shirt? Your fans are posting that they hate your shirt. Yep. No, oh. you're making that up because you not. hate it. I'm not. Becky, mean. Blake, they hate it. <laughs> I need some basil. Who wants to get me basil? I thought Mom fine, was I'll do it. Get don't worry about it. I got it. <laughs> Just let me leave the entire show. Okay, fine. You guys talk quietly amongst yourselves. Let's figure out how we're going to turf the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Look how upset he is. Yeah, we forgot the scissors. Let's see. I hope he doesn't oh, pick his seat. Really, like you know what? The big movie. basil is not ready yet. Shoot. It's just this little stuff. It's just so voyeuristic. I know. Right. Steve is like peeking through the window. We can see you, Sam. Dude, are you looking at my... <laughs> my yeah. Checking out my ass? That's yeah. That's creepy, dude. <laughs> He's back. Uh, baby Greek basil. Check this out. Hold on. Steve, your you're bean with bacon soup is really effing with my flow here. Okay. Mmm. So I'm just going to take some of these leaves off. Wow, does that smell good? I don't want these little stemmy things. Take them out. The basil in our garden is just starting to come back. And you know, the, the, big, the big giant leaves that we had last year uh, have not shown up yet. And they will. They're coming. They're coming Those yet, big, they were... Hand, size up hand. They were the size of fists, right. Okay, so fresh basil is amazing, and dried basil is doesn't really cut it. But I think you can get fresh basil almost anywhere. Any supermarket you go to is going to have some form of fresh basil. Some price of it, right? Mm -hmm. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, we're almost there. Lucky. I was at Fixtures on uh, Friday. They were working the uh, Woodstone Hearth. Yeah. And how was and, it? And uh, please tell me what grill it was. Ugh. God, why can't I not remember? Can somebody look? Yeah, wolf. I think it was a it was wolf. wolf. Was it? Yep. Was it? Mm -hmm. And they were they were making uh, they were making. You know the funny thing is like the thing if you you go to Fixtures and you talk to people about. We talk to the fixtures people about, you know, what they've got. And you say, oh, I'd like to look at a, I'd like to look at a, a pizza oven. It's a hearth, and it's not only for pizza. They were doing um, uh, uh, Brussels sprouts in this hearth, pizza oven, and they were doing potatoes in them. It's just an oven. It's just a smoky wood oven with a lot of heat and a lot of amazing uh, 
you know, flavor additives. I don't know what it is. You know how it's like if you eat something at a campfire? It almost tastes better no matter how you've eaten it inside. Mm -hmm. There's something about cooking something in an oven like that that makes it totally amazing that you just you can't replicate any other way. Anyway, the people at Fixtures Living in San Diego, Costa Mesa, and Rancho Mirage, they do things, they describe things, they help you understand things in a way that you wouldn't normally... I should have put the... Where the hell's the gnocchi? Uh-oh. There was a little fucking box of it On right here. Table? I saw it. No, I saw Damn it. Damn it, Max. Too. It's over there. Who put it over here? <laughs> Max. I, yeah, I, back I here. I Max. Way to go, Max. <laughs> I've been so sitting in this chair the whole time, if you didn't notice. <laughs> Gnocchi, little potato dumpling things that are going to go in this pot. That's hot. Like this? Oh, that's going to splash. That's fine. <laughs> you know they're ready? When, Steve? When they... Float. Float. Thank you, boys. I didn't know that. Yeah. So this is getting nice. It's getting thicker. The sausage, the cream, the tomato sauce. It's going to need a little salt and definitely some pepper. I don't think Kelly's paying attention. Kelly's not paying attention. Did you asleep again? Oh, no. Were you asleep? I was not asleep. <laughs> was she asleep? No, she wasn't. No. It looked like it. What she was, was she? Close. I was reading comments and I'm smiling about everyone still commenting about your shirt. <laughs> Why does everybody? You no, no, told no. people now to hate my I shirt. I think it's like 70 30 that they like it, believe it or not. Oh, no. Right. All right, there hey, we go. Becky asked a question Do you have concrete floors in that kitchen? Yes, well, exactly what they are. Mm -hmm. Exactly what they are. Took us a long time to get them the way we wanted them, though. We can have a whole discussion about concrete floors one night. We're not yes, going to have it tonight. Yes, we can. Lynn, we got to nothing on the list tonight, man. Nope. Well, we can talk <laughs> about it now while we're waiting for this. Well, what's on the list? The water skiing thing was on the list. The, the, the restaurant thing was on the list. We're going to save that for Wednesday. The Let's just save it. What about that link I sent you? The That's on the list. Scavengers. You got to no, no, freaking. We got to save that. <laughs> We gotta save that. I just want that gnocchi. Here's my question. My question is, what am I gonna serve this with? On. I think I'm gonna do this. Nice. Just a little bit right there. Oh, that smells so good. Your mom's. Um, oh. Never mind. <laughs> it's all good. Jeez. I just meant this is all good. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Kale's mom's been on the show. Yeah. Has she? Yes. We got to drag out that episode, Kel. Right. She was cute. Your mom's cute. Both our moms are cute. Uh, you know what I started thinking about today? I'm going to say one word. Look at me. I'm going to say one word, and I want to know who remembers this. Hey, Lynn? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> He's always right there when I don't want him to be right there. So just say this. Respond to yes to this if you remember. Who remembers? Lynn, write down my question. Tell me when you're there. He's here. Go to Facebook. Yep. Let's, let's see you. There we go. OK. Tell, tell me when you're ready to write down my question. So respond yes. If. Who remembers the? Milkman. What? You remember the milkman? I mm -hmm. really remember that. Steve goes, as in, though. There is no, no. as in. And no, it's, it's not. It's like going, who remembers Steve Jobs? And you go, well, as in, no. There's only one. <laughs> who remembers the milkman? Well, there's a band called the milkman. No, idiot. We're not talking about that. There's a lot. Damn. I mean, the milk. <laughs> You're talking about Whoa. the guy that. By the way, yeah. when I say that to Steve, idiot, he calls me that. It's not mean spirited. My confidence shrinks more <laughs> and more. Right. God, oh. more therapy <laughs> sessions from more Sam. Therapy more work-related <laughs> therapy <laughs> sessions. Okay, watch. 
The gnocchi now is floating on top, and it's just going to go right into here. Mm. See how this happens? Yeah. You do know my milkman story, don't you, Sam? Oh, God. <laughs> this sounds sexual to me. Oh, no. I didn't have an affair with the milkman. It's worse. When I was a kid, he ran over our dog and killed our dog. Oh, oh God. What? Yeah. Serious? And then he came to the door, and he goes, are you the folks with the little white dog? And I'm like, no yeah. Way. Are you he the goes, folks that used oh. to have the little white dog? He goes, oh, I'm really sorry. I just ran him over. And I'm not exaggerating. Dead? He actually did that. Dead. Oh Magoo. My wow. Magoo? Magoo. Magoo. <laughs> okay, here you go. Now you just toss the gnocchi in Dude, here. That looks incredible. Okay. So over here we come. Uh, so what did the hell did the milkman thing have to do with anything? Yeah. I'm just saying, I just remembered the Don't. milkman today. The milkman that used to deliver the milk to the house. The existence of a milkman? Yes, You should dude. have said, do you remember what a milkman is? Not, do you remember the milkman? The milkman. I'm I remember, sorry. I remember the milkman from Dave Chappelle. Has anyone seen that? <laughs> All right. That is good. We, we <laughs> have a tool. fan, Anybody? Denise, who was the milkman's daughter. Okay, well, let's oh. save it. Let's save it because I got another memory. Can we just bank that for yeah. Wednesday night? Okay, look at the gnocchi, the sausage, the basil, the garlic, the cream. Really, like five or six ingredients in this thing. Not much more than that. And super hot. Oh, there's no way to eat this and not like burn the hell out of my mouth. Do it. Mm. 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 When you do that, are you tossing the food around? Yeah. To, like, I'm trying to keep it from burning one <laughs> spot in particular. Oh my God. Just burning the whole okay. thing instead. The Hoffers sent this recipe. Yeah. Wait, just let me say who suggested it tonight. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you see this is Alex says, Eugene Wojciech. Eugene Wojciech said, how about that gnocchi alla sarda? He does it with andouille sausage. I did it with regular, everyday, spicy Italian. Booyah. And it's amazing, but you gotta make this. Look at it. It's fantastic. It's got a great color. Mm. No, better, mm. better taste, all right. Great night. Make the food. See you Wednesday. Uh, be nice to somebody tomorrow. Why did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? I have no idea. Something's in my head. I got to try and figure it out. And then show that those NMW things right there, Steve. We have to figure out what that means Wednesday. I'll explain it. Just bank that in your memory. We'll come back to that Wednesday. See you guys Wednesday. Thanks for being here. Tell your friends. Download us on podcast on uh, iTunes. See ya. <laughs>